the snake bite has moved. Looking for the snake bite? All you got to do is go to the old snake bite and look across the street. Here, <laughs> here's the old snake bite right there at A and is it Park? It's Park, right? Yeah, it's Park. Park and A. Look across the park street and a. to the south <laughs> and there's the new snake bite. It's, yeah. in, it's in the IOOF building Oh, uh huh. that we've all been kind of wondering what was going to happen to. I was wondering, yeah. For the last year-ish. It's going to be so weird having the snake bite not in the snake bite though. Yeah. It's been such a landmark for so long. But wait till you see this place. Let's take a look inside real quick. Uh-huh. I went and had a burger. So there's the bar. Look at the fishies. These are all fishies oh. from, I think, District 91. They had sort of a student competition to paint these little fishes that are hanging from the ceiling. Oh, that's cute. I love that. Yeah. Anyway, they've got a brand new bar and a bar top. It, it's an amazing restaurant. And I had one burger, $15 burger, their mm -hmm. signature burger, I think. Here's the shot of the menu. And it was delicious. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, $14.95 is a little steep for a burger. But then I thought, is it? No, not really. It's not really. Yeah. If you get a double quarter pounder with cheese, I think that's 12 or 13 bucks mm -hmm. for, the, for the meal. Yeah. But yeah, you get the burger and the waffle fries. And I th so I thought it was a great place, a great value. They just moved locations, what, last Monday? Wow. But man, it's a great looking building. And if you're ever wondering, I had to Google this, what the I-O-O-F on top of the building stands for. It looked it looks like 100 capital F. Yeah. But it's actually uh, the acronym for the International Order of Odd Fellows. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Odd Fellows, I guess, is just a fraternal organization. Yeah. They were one of the first. Kind of like the Elks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were one of the first organizations to allow women. Yes. In 1851, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Didn't they also wear funny hats? Probably. That was probably a thing, right? I don't know. Who wears the hats, the the funny hats, and drives the go-karts in the 4th of July parade? That's somebody else. Oh. That's the Shriners. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's the old local Oddfellows building. Huh. But it was a great place to stop by for a burger on a Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. I met Mason, the bar manager. I think you saw him earlier in the video. Anyway, Snake Bite, your new location. You are IFAF this week. Chris Pie 5, whoosh, 21 Finger Gun pew, Salute, pew. and Chef's Kiss. To you. I don't know how you season that burger, but <laughs> mwah. Well, and also, I'm so excited to go there for brunch because now they're offering that, which yes. we needed desperately after Diablo's closed, by yeah. the way. Mm -hmm. um, now, of course, we didn't go this last weekend because it was Mother's Day weekend, and there's no way you can get into brunch anywhere on Mother's Day weekend. <laughs> Too rich for our blood. Yeah, no, not, <laughs> not into it. So either way, I'm really excited to go at a later date. Yeah, that whole block now with 18 there. I know. And now the snake bite. It's gotten kind of fancy fancy. Gentrification happening. I like it. I mean, it's it's definitely a nice little area. Like it's some of the places that I like to take people from out of town. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Somebody sitting next to me, I knew from 25 years ago, mm -hmm. two lifetimes ago. And she said, you know, I bring clients in from out of town mm -hmm. and this is a place I'd be proud to show them. Yes. <laughs>